33 outside. It's 43 in here. And the low tonight is 29. And two days ago, it was 70 degrees of a high. And, and then, then we had what down to 21? 12 hours later, it was 21. Yep. Um, and this greenhouse doesn't have a proper electricity slash gas hooked up to it. We got an extension cord running to our fans and uh, our heater does not have propane hooked up to it. So to keep our plants alive in February, what do we do? So we're using a big water tank and we're heating it up. We then circulate the water on a timer. Okay, what's the heater? Gross. Oh, nice. Water heater. We then circulate the water tank. on the timer. Once you got this, so the, the water's got a pump in it, hooked up to this hose. Yep. Then you get the hose running down underneath. So as, it'll pump like every 10 minutes. So the warm radiator. water will go out into the hose and then stay there for 10 minutes and then heat transfer to the air. And then we create a little tent over all of our plants. Using frost cloth. Good enough for our cool weather crops. Right, for Oklahoma. February. February. Probably wouldn't have worked February 2020. <laughs> we had two weeks and single digits, I think. <clears throat> but it's good for now. Minimal loss. Right. And then our germination. And a germination trace. setup. Plastic, so it warms up in the sunny. Heat mats on the thermostat. Uh, and, uh, same situation, we have the hot water running under here. With the hoses. To help keep the temperature up. And what are those heat mats set at? They're set at... Like 70? Like 75 to 80 right now. And then we don't have anything really in the ground outside yet, right? We did plant some lettuce and some peas, but they've been get, getting eaten by the deer. Probably. Okay. That's on the to-do to list for next week. <laughs> get rid of the deer. Get rid of the deer, create some better barriers. Right, so what do they look like? Maybe frost cloth hoops, tunnels? Uh, either some sort of fencing around the entire garden or maybe doing some frost cloth hoops. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Yep. So this is our tunnel. Great. What are we doing to uh, protect our flowers during this weather? So in the tunnel we have a variety of cool, hardy um, annuals that can tolerate some of our lower temperatures, but can't tolerate full on frozen tundra. So we have them in the tunnel um, to get a head start on the season and hopefully get earlier blooms. Um, when we have temperatures that drop below 20 degrees, we'll add the second layer of frost cloth while they're... Temperatures, is that day, night, either one? Temperature lows, usually it's in the early morning when they dip down to the lowest okay. of the day. So we'll, if they're predicting temperatures below, you know, 25, 20 degrees, um, then we will put on the extra layer of frost cloth to add a little bit more protection. Right now we have ranunculus, stock, bells of Ireland, foxglove, snapdragons, Feverfew, poppies, larkspur, um, among some other things, bupleurum, 
And then uh, you got some flowers outside, right? Yes, and I have a full 100 foot row of, <clears throat> again, cool hardy annuals that can tolerate more severe temperatures. Um, and then whenever it gets below probably 28 degrees is when we usually put the frost cloth over them so they don't have as much protection since they're not in the tunnel here. Um, but that row consists of snapdragons and larkspur. And you, you double layered the frost cloth on that? Yeah, yeah. I had been doing like single layers if it's below 28 and then double layer if it's going below 20, but it's a little bit more um, yeah. efficient just to do the double layer both times and take them down the next day whenever temperatures will be Right, freezing. so these, okay. this setup holds up well against Oklahoma wind, these frost cloth? Yes, I mean right here in, in the tunnel we don't have them sandbagged as tightly as we do in the field. Um, so this setup wouldn't actually last in the field. Right, but in the field you got those clips. But in the field, yeah, we have the clips, we have some rubber, like rubber bands that go around it, and sandbags. It actually does yeah. hold up surprisingly well. Like 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. Right, it's low so enough to the ground. Yeah, and it's a north northwest plot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's been times where I'm shocked that it's still yeah. intact. But. Well, good. Thank you.